Tony Stark, Captain America, and the Falcon head to the Red Skull cell. Tony wants to ask the prisoner about the Infinity Stones. The captain considers this idea pointless. The skull draws incomprehensible symbols on the wall of his cell. Stark examines them and leaves, saying that the skull gave him everything he needed. The Avengers are flying on the Avenger. Stark explains that the skull and his scribbles indicated the name of all five Infinity Stones, and now the Avengers are flying to the Time Stone. The Avenger freezes in the place indicated by Tony. The Time Stone appears on the open palm of the Iron Man and flies into his chest. Tony falls into the ocean. Thor rushes after him. A pterodactyl grabs Hawkeye. A portal opens in the sky from which other lizards fly. Thor picks up Tony at the water's edge. The rest of the Avengers fight with pterodactyl Thor throws Stark aboard the Avenger. An orange flash bursts out of Iron Man's chest and the dinosaurs disappear. Tony believes he has opened. A crack in the fabric of time. Tony cannot reboot the suit. Barton notices that Tony's voice has changed. The Avengers return to the tower. Jarvis reports that the armor is fully functional, but it does not recognize the signature of Tony's body. Stark asks the Hulk to tear off his faceplate. The Hulk rips off the mask from the suit. It turns out that the Time Stone turned Tony into a teenager. The Falcon says that with every flash something from the past gets into their time. The Avengers see on the screen that dinosaurs are walking the streets of the city. The Avengers are fighting dinosaurs. Batten saves people on the bus. The dinosaur growls at the Hulk. He growls in response and the lizard runs away. Thor is delighted with the battle. He asks the captain if it is possible to wait with the extraction of the time stone. The captain and Tony are in the tower. Stark is trying to put on his armor, but he is electrocuted. Another flash breaks out of Tony's chest. Tony becomes even younger, and robots from the future appear on the streets of the city. The Hulk grabs two triceratops and demolishes a group of robots with dinosaurs. He is attacked by other robots, but Thor destroys them with lightning. Tony asks Thor to take the robots away from the tower. The alarm in the prison compartment turns on in the tower. The captain runs there and sees that the skull chamber is destroyed and the villain himself is nowhere to be found. The door of the compartment is demolished by dinosaurs. The wreckage presses the captain. The skull comes around the corner. He enters the elevator and goes up to Tony. Stark, he asks Jarvis to turn off the elevator, but he reports that the tower systems are damaged. The skull gets out of the elevator and falls, slipping on small balls. He chases Tony, but Stark locks him in the training room and turns on training for Captain America. A lot of metal balls attack the skulls. He barely gets out of the training room. On one of the doors, he sees the inscription, do not enter, and opens it. It turns out Thor's room. Thor's pet monster starts chasing after the skull. Tony finds a blueprint for his first armor. The skull finds a crossbow and goes after Tony. The captain comes to his senses and tries to contact Stark. Tony collects his armor, but then a new flash breaks out of the power stone. The Avengers on the streets of the city see a Hydra squadron arriving from the past. The skull finds Tony and wants to take away the time stone. The skulls attack Captain America. Tony tries to finish the armor. The skull throws the captain away and grabs Tony. Stark activates the armor and puts it on. Tony throws the skulls out of the window with a shot of repulsors and is carried away by pterodactyls. Tony hugs Cap and he takes the power stone out of the reactor. The Avengers are surrounded by dinosaurs, robots, and Hydra soldiers on the streets. Barton has the last arrow left. An orange flash erases all the aliens from another time. Stark thanks the captain and he gives him his shield so that Tony can practice. The Avengers attack a group of MII soldiers driving through the desert. The Hulk destroys cars. Thor throws a truck. The soldiers take aim at the heroes. The rest of the Avengers arrive and destroy a column of cars. The last of the soldiers manages to launch a rocket before he is knocked down by a widow. Iron Man shoots down a rocket and returns to friends. Tony's program evaluates the actions of the Avengers 100%. Hawkeye says that the Avengers can do better. Shield planes arrive. Soldiers aim at the Avengers. 
One of them shoots Tony and he falls to the ground. Shield soldiers attack the Avengers. The Hulk rushes into a fight, but the soldiers brought a Hulkbuster. The robot beats the Hulk and he flies into the car. The captain carries Tony to the Avenger. The shield aircraft carrier hovers over the Avengers from which the fighters fly out. Thor shoots down one and the Hulk catches the plane and lowers it to the ground. The Widow hijacks one of the fighters and tells the Avengers to get inside. The Avengers head to the aircraft carrier to talk to Fury. The captain believes that the S.H.I.E.L.D. director was deceived and Hawkeye is sure that Fury was just offended that Barton took his blindfold. The heroes arrive on the aircraft carrier and fight their way out of the hangar into the corridors. Here they are stopped by Fury and the soldiers. Nick says that he dismisses the Avengers. Fury brings the captain, Stark, Widow and Barton to the bridge. There they see Modok, who controls the mind of Fury and all the agents of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Tony sees a stone in Modok's forehead. Modok uses new powers and tries to capture the mind of the heroes. He is knocked down by Thor's hammer flying through the window. Hal, Thor, and the Falcon fly into the bridge. Thor strikes Modok with lightning. A bright flash throws the heroes away. The Avengers come to their senses and realize that they have changed bodies. Modok has disappeared. Barton in the body of Thor tries to lift the hammer but it flies back to Asgard. Fury and the agents come to their senses and open fire on the Avengers. The heroes escape from the bridge. Tony in the body of Barton asks the Widow in the body of the Hulk to break through the door that blocked their way. The Widow breaks through the door. Tony's suit shows the efficiency of the team at 17%. The Falcon in the captain's body detects the presence of Modok. The Avengers are attacked by Hulkbusters and S.H.I.E.L.D. soldiers. The heroes punch a hole in the skin of the aircraft carrier. Tony in Barton's body shoots the robot with an arrow with oil and he falls and plugs a hole in the board. The Avengers find Modok. He is unconscious. The aircraft carrier begins to wobble. The wall closes access to Modok's body. Modok appears on the wall. He captured the entire aircraft carrier, the Avengers. Split up to find Modok and take the Mind Stone. The Widow, the Captain, Thor, and the Hulk find Modok's body, but the villain rebuilds the ship and the body disappears into a hole in the floor. Tony Barton and the Falcon were almost flattened in the corridor, but suddenly the attack stopped. Barton and Thor's body tell Stark and Hawkeye's body that the Avengers need to fight as if they are in their own bodies and then they will defeat Modok. The heroes find Modok's body and rush to attack. They successfully repel all the villain's attacks. Thor and the Widow's body summons a hammer and strikes the power stone with lightning. The stone falls out of the villain's forehead. Everything comes back to normal. The Avengers return to their bodies. The Falcon hits the Modok lying on the floor. The Avengers return to the tower. Fury demands to give him the Mind Stone, but Stark refuses and keeps the stone. Dear friends, thank you for watching, like and subscribe to the channel, this is important to me.